Right, hello viewers. Yeah, yeah. Hello viewers, yeah, this is SB D Baker 55. And today I'm going to be running Sonic Colors DS, which is the DS version of uh, of of Sonic Colors, which came out on Wii like like at, almost at the same time. Arkit just ran an amazing Sonic Sonic Colors Ultimate. And now here's gonna be the DS version where I collect every red one in the game. As well as defeating the Negro Responder. Now this usually requires a, a completely different rebound than any percent. As, as some of the stages have to be redone because one of the red rings you need a later power up to get, and also the missions which are normally bypassed, as they have red rings in them, they they have to be done as well. Now without much further ado, we can I think we can start. So yeah, the time will start when I hit play game on the next scene. And three, two, one, go. So in this first stage, I don't have boost or any of the color powers. So this is the first time in any of the Rush series that you get to see boost the Sonic. Now I'm going to make one big jump over the trick rings as to conserve speed. So yeah, this is the third of the three games in the Sonic Rush trilogy. That's been Dash. Now Dash over here. Now those icons up there are usually where the Wisp would be. And unfortunately that's where the second red ring is and I need the Wisp power called Burst to get it. So what I'll be doing here is to get the third and fourth red rings only. And here comes the third one. This is so when I backtrack here, I don't have to score the spot on route which is forced on this on the first visit. Now there's a speed here. I was supposed to jump up there, but I still able to get the spread ring. This will jump the second will be skipped. Now onto the slider. So yeah, there are five wisps in this game. There's Burst, which I unlock in the next zone, which is Sweet Mountain. Rocket, which I unlock in Starlight Carnival. Drill, which I unlock in Planet Wisp. Laser in Aquarium Park. And Boy Nassau with Kelster. And if you collect all the rings in the gliding section, you get an extra life. Under 130, great. And no special stages. Right now for Act 2. This is where I unlock Boost. So now Sonic can use Boost now. Again, I'm spin dashing and jumping down to get higher speed than Boost normally gives. And that's the first red ring. Again, the second red ring is up there somewhere, and I need Burst to get it. Now do one massive boost jump and an air boost. Oh yeah, you, you have air boost in this as well, whereas you didn't have it for the first two rush games. Now do one big jump here. Good. Jump on the spring, boost, boost. This time a damage boost. And this is so the special stage problem doesn't show by having more than 50 rings. Now he starts skips cutscenes. So yeah, now there's more and more things to unlock. Right now we're off to the first boss. So this, so this boss is is faster when you have burst, but as we don't have it yet, we've got to make do without it. And this is by making use of spin, well timed spin dashes. So when I spin dash, I hold forward to attack him again. I then stomp and boost into him. I then take one boost after to finish him off. To make him come down, then I get a last double hit by jumping in my place, like that. Right, this, that's a great time. Amazing. 
Now we skip the cutscenes. Even more cutscenes. Right, now we're going to be off to Sweet Mountain, and this is where we're going to unlock Burst. Oh yeah, I, and that's the same reason I don't do missions now. Burst can even be got when it just comes on the right, right side of the screen. No tutorials. So now this is going to be the first act where I'll be... Purposely getting all five red rings. Now I'm going to sort of got a damage boost thing, which I got. Normally at that pace I wouldn't have enough height, but... But as I have enough speed, I can make it across. Now this part, I want to stay as high as possible in the glider. So I can burst the first time. So what burst does is allows you to effectively fly. And that's the third red ring. And allows you to break stuff like those chocolates I went through. Sonic can't break those by himself. Right, jump boost. That damage was deliberate, so I would have more than 50 wings at the end. Quick time, 4 and 7. Awesome. Amazing. Right now to Act 2. Now, this comes with something interesting about the third red ring. First, I use Burst to get up here. First, I'm going to go down the spot move. So, that's the first red ring. There's. Normally, you're supposed to use Boy to get it. I'm seeing this as for otherwise. But with the minor sequence break, I can actually get a burst into that area. So now, now I'll go backwards. This this will allow me to grab a burst. So I can access the area where the third red wings without using void. And then I can use burst to go through the chocolate, grab the red ring, and get out. That's one of my rings. Now I'm gonna get to the bottom route, which is where the fifth red one that thing will be. Now I'm gonna put the first so I can put me against that balloon that's just enough. Just enough just enough first to make it up. Now I want to miss all these rings so I don't have a special stage point by getting more than 50. And this unfortunately cannot be skipped. I'll be seeing this machine again on mission 2 which I'll be going to straight after this. 154. At least it's sub 2 but normally I would want to be getting under 150. Now given where all the missions are on the map it's fastest for me to traverse mission 2 first. And this is the one at the top right corner. This is a rescue of the mission, this mission. And that's the first red ring. I want to keep the combo as high as possible. Because you can get two. Or even three was per enemy destroyed. Now, I don't want to collect too many of because the second red ring is up here. And unfortunately, we can't skip the machine to get it. Even with Void Unlocked, which is another wisp that's, that's in this level when Void is unlocked.
Right now to mission one. So yeah, this is a defeat the enemy's mission. Right, good. Good enough. Yeah, Bros is very effective in clearing the enemies in this set mission. Right, mission three. There's a fast RCA strap which I can use by going the bottom route, but as I need the first red ring, I can't use it. And you'll see why. First, I will need Bros to get across and not. Now you bust the grab up here. So yeah, through this popcorn machine, I have no way of getting back through it other than going from the from left. Now second my thing is up here. Go through the shock works, charge explosion, and across. And we made it with a nest rank. Anything above 25 seconds remaining is a nest rank. Right onto the boss now. So for this one, when you boost into the boss, you get a color power. In this case, as boss is the one we unlock here, we unlock first when we boost into the boss. Then you boss take care of the rest. And so. Could be a bit faster. I usually be happy to do anything less than 16 seconds for this, but. It happens when the boss delays the first attack. Right now, right now we exit the series. Now we're going to head to the missions. And this is because the first red ring in mission one requires burst. Because for the same reason as the, the second red ring in tropical resort one. So it's this area which I need first to access up here. Yeah, the first red ring is up here. Right, good. Off to mission two. So yeah, this is trop basically Tropical Resort Act 2 again with one minor piece here. Jump too early there. One, yeah, it saves time to use burst to get that one instead of doing it without burst. Right, that's an awesome air boost there. And with burst, you can even go over this loop and set the first rules on fire. And that's the end of this mission. 50 50. Yeah, that jump is a bit iffy because the pedal platforms are not the best at all. Right now we exit here and go to Starlight Carnival. The act stage will take care of later. And 
And this is because take, taking care of them levels left is faster than doing them in the area. Right, so this area we are not rocket. And this allows you to shoot straight up. So for this specific at Starlet Carnival 1, we're not going to be getting any of the red rings for now. Because, the, because in this stage, the fourth red ring requires laser. And this is because it's behind the wall that you can't break otherwise. Yeah, jumping on that swing allows you to skip this wall jumping section. I didn't get quite enough height to do that. Let me jump over the swing because that's where the second red ring is. We don't want to collect any of them too early because it causes a unlock message which you don't want. I slide into wall jumps, wall jump, wall jump, boost. Now use the final rocket. One fourteen, pretty good for beating fast as possible. No special stages. Now we head to Act 2, and this time, unlike Act 1, all of the red rings are possible here. Now up to this hour. Stomp. Now up here's where the fourth red ring is. Now we're gonna be going for a skip here. Yeah, unfortunately I felt that skip. I boosted too early. So yeah, might as well ride this for fun. That's the fifth one. Amazing. So yeah, that's what happens when you don't don't get the skip. Right, again, we're going to be going to mission two first. Oh. So yeah, this mission is pretty straightforward. Red wings. Mission one. 
And this route is even the same even for any percent. I mean, not any percent, I mean, yeah, beating as fast as possible. Really not for any percent because we don't actually do this mission on percent. Right, let's beat the cannon and we get across. 31 seconds left, good. Mission 3. <laughs> so yeah, we need to get two red rings. So we need to go up here. Right now, we're going to head to the boss. Right, this is the third boss of the game. And this one gives us rocket when we boost into it. So I want to, yeah, I've got the good energy pattern. So I want to deflect his, that the yellow one's back to the boss. And I'm going to use rocket after 10.3 seconds. And this is will make it come down straight away. Then, do, then jumping at it, the boost to drop the rocket. I think can finish it off at the end. And that's the effect of a good RNG pack. If I didn't get the three other ones at the beginning, that would take an extra second extra because I need another boost hit to make that happen. Right, for these two stages. Unlike the previous two, the order does matter for this to avoid an extra redo. And this is because the second one, Aquarium Part 2, requires drill. There's no way to get it otherwise. Hmm, unfortunate, missed it. Got it. So yeah, right now we're introducing drill stress away. This allows us to travel on the ground. And the first five is here. Now we'll do a high long jump. Just got it. So yeah, normally we'd have to jump on the trampoline, but with a high, by being on this you know, loop, I'm doing a high long jump. You can get it without going on it, and that saves a huge chunk of time. And that's the third one. Unfortunately, Mr. Pipe. Oh yeah, Joe can also use pipes too. Now he's rock here. And it's faster than using Joe to go around. I think we'll get things home now. Someone 30, good time. No special stages. Off to mission two. Now this one specifically is a heavily drill oriented stage. Now to go down here, because the second red ring is here.
it's the enemy. If you hit the enemy at the side, then you you defeat it without lose, without taking damage. And that's the third one. And that one can't even be avoided even for 20%. And even if you did avoid it, it would be slow. Do it again. Fourth one is up here. Now this is the final chase section. Now I want to get the fifth red ring, which is a bit risky to get. Now when yeah, if I hit the, if I hit, if I bonk off one of the hard, the hard floors, it will be too late to turn and then I die from, from being crushed. No special stages. Right, on to missions now. And it's right up here. So here I need to go to the bu this is starts on starts in this chase section. Good. On to mission one. And the reason that mission two was hard because yeah yeah mission two you just needed to yeah you can't play play too well as as you need to go to the end of the stage to get the second red ring and for S rank it's even worse. Okay. Right, mission three is unlocked. But before that, we're going to take on the boss first as it's closer in the map. So what we want to do is drill through those generators while it tries to heal itself. And then defeat it like that. There's a 9 second quick kill, but I don't use that. So it's a bit risky. Mission 3. So yeah, this one is a random flag mission. This was, this was flags in random locations and you have to like, do with improv. And this was a low-key pattern as it allowed me to get full red rings with minimal batch racking. A bit unfortunate there. Now go under here. Right, we finished that. Right, off to Aquarium Park now, and this will allow us to have laser. This one moves very fast when you're on the touch screen, so we want it to be quick as possible. Let's see if we get it first time. Good, first time. No tutorials. Right now, I'm looking to serve a laser. And this is to allow us to... to grab the second red ring quicker. Good 
because using Brawl is slower than Sonic Boosting underwater. And Laser can use these machines. And, and even though Drill is not really required for this one, but is the next one, it's pretty slime in RCA by going upwards and grabbing the laser. And go up, get the last red ring. So you normally get that tail 115 time, but I had a bit of mishap in the beginning. 120 still, still okay. I would say that this one is by far the hardest to route for all red wings, but up to the time. Because oftentimes it's flat in a specific laser angle. And there's no and it doesn't and the laser doesn't respawn. So the first one you use laser to get up here, which is faster than taking the other way. And this second red wing coming up requires drill. And this is because it's in the circle of fish, and there's no way for me to get a laser into the area. And Sonic can't get through the fish by himself. And by landing that small platform where the water comes out from the waterfall, allows Sonic to get just enough height from a boost jump to grab a laser and get up. Now I jump down here. Yeah, that's very specific. Two at speed would be risky. I'd lose a lot of time. That is unfortunate. Normally that doesn't happen. You can because you can do a laser in a specific area and then it just hits the ceiling instead of a slanted wall. Maybe you go back. Yeah, this could be fast, but one can actually get less than 120 if played really risky. That's the stage done. Right, again, we're going to do mission two first because it's right next to it. And this is basically two again with a few minor details this time we actually need to go the up route because that's where the first red ring is good angle this time we're going to be staying on the upper route That's a lot harder to make than it looks. Good, got the plate. That jump right there is frame perfect. Any later than that hit the enemy, any earlier I wouldn't jump at all. So I technically haven't landed. Oh, yeah, I need to restart this mission. Because I missed the second, because the second red ring is up there somewhere. So yeah, that is unfortunate, so I've got a bit... Of course. Because the second red ring is somewhere up there and I'm supposed to access it. So that's an unfortunate time loss. Yeah, pretty fast beginning. Didn't get it this time. So yeah, I'm supposed to go up here instead. 
because that's what the second magic ring is. Quite made it. Mission one. Again, we're going to be using lasers to access the drill section here because this is part of that one. So now we're going to take on the boss first. There's a quick kill switch, let's hope we get it. Right, didn't, right, got the quick kill. Not as fast as I hoped, but at least I still got the last laser. Amazing. Right, mission three. This is effectively like a run hack of the level. Right, that's this mission done. Right, before we go to Asteroid Coast, so we're going to be doing redos. And that's to redo the stage with the, the red things we couldn't get before. Now have a boost now, I can get that. Now you've got to access up here. I'm using burst up here, it's way faster than can between the bottom route for the other two bad rings. Yeah, sorry about the phone. Right, we made it. Not to TR2. I want to gut hit. Right. Now this hot thing just goes as start as it needs to go on. Hit 
hit the bomb, unfortunately. And we finish. Now to start icon level one. This time you're gonna get all the red rings. And now we're gonna act as a laser on the shortcut by going to the left. going up here. This is where the four fetch ring is and I can't break that ball without a laser. red ring and we finish Amazing. now to ask closer this is when we unlock void Straight away, we're forced to use Void because of the barrier. And Void causes more reads. Sometimes the laser just bounces the wrong way, so that's why I go further back a bit. Now we use laser for the crystals because we need to guard the ring. Normally I'd run up here with Bruce, but we need to pull that ring and that's behind the big machine, which can be sucked in my big boy. That's unfortunate. Something's too early there. He wants to bonk with some crystals so he can so he can get the lost red ring.
Right now, I'm back to. Now we should use laser go up here. This allows us to get that rubber coast off. Good boy torsion. I want to do that shortcut here. Got it. Onto the goal. Four, five, eight rings. Now for the missions. Amazing. Mission two. Hmm. Hey, Shadow. Plus, I drink. Right, got both of them. Mission one. Another random gifts for the flag mission. I got to the fifth red with the flag. Right, now I'm gonna take out the boss first. Then do mission three. I 
this, yeah, this I don't get any of the running until I turn void. This is so I can go big boy as fast as possible, so I can literally swallow this boss when he loses enough health. Good. Mission three. Okay. This time I use Void. This is basically Astro with Coastal 1 again, except you're not allowed to die. Because in missions, there's no checkpoints. Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen the first time. Then I didn't get there fast enough to avoid. Good, we're home free. Yeah, if you hit the laser and the last crystal, then you're pretty much safe. Then made it. With all the red rings. And that's all of them. So when you get all the red rings, you're able to use infinite boost. And that's me activating the menu. But we don't really need infinite boost in a full run. So this actually is a top-down running section. And you hardly have to control Sonic laterally. It's almost no nowhere to go. Good. But navigating that part is the hardest part because you don't, again, you don't have much control on it. Sidewards. Good, that's a perfect one. So yeah, this final boss is a bit of a pushover. It's not about how many hits you get, it's about Hitting the specific spots with a boost. And and, once you, and if you have perfect terminal velocity, then then the boost isn't an issue for this. My perfect, yeah. And what I mean by perfect terminal velocity is keep keep boost the whole time without taking damage even once. So for this one I didn't really have to boost into it, I just can just stay still with a spin dash. And that's the third one. So just move to this side and boost him. Right now it's time for the final hit. And the time won't end on the final hit, it will end when the final score screen disappears. Now this 
but I have to mash Y as hard as I can. But in this case, all four buttons work. So it's be over in like a second or two. Cool, 128. And that's time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. This this was de definitely very close to the Astomer. So yeah, this was this was pretty very fun to run, despite the many ma major mistakes I had, including a couple deaths, the shortcuts. And now a bit of post game. As of now, I currently run run pretty much all categories in Sonic Colors DS, such as any percent or levels in hundred percent. And there are other runners you should check out their channels, such as Codemaster and Diamond, who have also ran this game for quite a while as well. And, and last and not least, I th yeah, thank you for having me on this, on this run to, run to sh show this, showcase this category. So with that, I think that's pretty much all from me. Any other credits?